Hey, welcome fake bakers. Are you ready to make a fake mint chip ice cream cone? So for the chocolate chips in the ice cream, I'm gonna use this Sculpey polymer clay. And the color that I'm using here is suede brown. So you'll need to condition your clay until it's nice and soft and pliable for you to be able to work with so you don't get any cracking or anything like that. And then I'm just gonna roll this into a ball and then I'm gonna take my rolling pin and I'm just gonna roll it out really thin. Um, and the reason I'm doing this is the chocolate chips in mint chip ice cream usually are not like actual chocolate chips. They're kind of little square pieces of chocolate. That's about how thick mine is. It doesn't need to be really super specific on the shape or thickness or anything like that. And then all I'm gonna do now is just kind of cut this into strips. Small little strips. And they don't have to be perfectly the same size or anything. And then I'm just gonna take the strips and just cut it into like small little squares. It doesn't need to be perfect. They don't have to be the same size. We just kinda want little chunks of chocolate to put into the ice cream. And then just make sure they're all nice and separated. I have these on parchment paper, so I'm gonna stick this in my oven, my package says 275, um, 15 minutes per quarter inch. So these are really tiny, so probably just five minutes or maybe not even five minutes. The next thing we'll make is our ice cream cone. So I have my foam clay here. So you'll just wanna condition your clay, get it nice and pliable. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of territorial beige just to give this a little bit of color to start with and then just mix that in really well. And then just roll your clay into a ball, flatten it out a little bit, and then take your rolling pin and roll it out pretty thin. You wanna make sure it gets kind of a circular shape because we're gonna cut a circle out of this. So. Just make sure you go both directions so that it spreads out each way. Okay, so now I have, this is actually just a little stamper, but it's a wooden dowel that's attached to a stamper. So you can get little wooden dowels like this at the craft stores or at even Dollar Tree. I think the ones at Dollar Tree might be a little bit bigger than this, which would be fine too. This is gonna be a waffle cone, so um, I'm just going to press it in and in my video for how to make waffles, I show you how to make something like this. Um, instead of using a wooden dowel, you can make your own little stamper thing. So if you want to check that out and make your own, instead of going and buying a dowel, you could do that too. You want all the rows to be lined up. So when you start the next row, you want it to be directly under the one above it. Okay, so now we need to cut a circle out of this. So I'm using an old air dry clay container. Um, this is about five and a half inches in diameter. And then I'm just gonna place it where I want it and then press it down. Now, if your um, container isn't sharp enough, you may have to go around this with a knife. So just peel the excess away. So you can use anything that is this circle shape, so if you, want to use a plate and go around it with a knife or um, a bowl, anything like that. 
And then my edges are a little jagged, so I'm just gonna kind of tuck those in. Okay, so now we need to make the shape. So what you wanna do is start folding it over. So we want the, the bottom part to be pointy, and then we wanna just bring it across. And then just pinch that bottom part if you need to. And then I'm going to take a piece of tissue paper and I'm going to stuff it inside of here because I don't want this to collapse on itself. I'm going to use classic caramel to um, paint the outside or to paint this. So you'll want to do this lightly. So dry brush it on. But you also want to make sure you get down into those squares. You don't want any of it to be white looking. And you also want to do the inside here just to be sure if any of that shows that it doesn't look weird. And then I'm just going to put this aside while we work on the ice cream. So for the ice cream, we're going to use our lightweight spackling and the brand that I like to use is DAP, but there are other brands. You can even use the Dollar Tree one if you want to. So for the color, excuse my bowl, I already used this for this color previously, so it's kind of messy, but um, I'm going to use new Shamrock from Apple Barrel to get the mint color. So you don't want to add very much, just add a little bit at a time so you can get that nice like pastel green color. And the reason I'm not using a pastel color is because you have to add more paint that way and we don't want this to be runny and so adding a bunch of paint would make it too runny. I think I want it more vibrant than this so I'm just going to add one more drop of green here. And then we want to thicken this up. So I'm using joint compound to do this. You can also use flour if you don't mind using food in your fake bakes. I try not to, and I like to show you different ways that you don't have to use food. So I'm using this joint compound powder. So I'm just going to add a little bit at a time. We want this to be thick enough to form into uh, an ice cream scoop. So I'm just gonna keep adding the powder until I get the right consistency. You could also um, do this with baby powder as well. So what I'm going for is that I can pretty much just pick this up and it's not gonna stick to my hands. I mean, if I press in on it really hard, it will stick to my hands probably, but it can sit in my hand and not stick. Now I'm gonna take my spackling and a ice cream scoop. Now you don't wanna use an ice cream scoop that you're gonna use in your kitchen. This needs to be for crafting only and never in the kitchen again. So I'm putting a little bit of the spackling in my scooper. Not too much. I'm, and I'm just going to kind of spread it around in there. And then I'm going to take a few of my chocolate chunks that I made and just put them into this ice cream because I want it to look like it's mixed in, but I don't want to mix it into all my spackling where I'm going to end up wasting a lot of it. It's not going to be seen. Plus this also makes it look more realistic because it looks like it's mixed into the ice cream. Okay. So now I'm going to just go into my container and take out a scoop like I would if I was scooping out ice cream. And then I'm just going to take my hand 
and I'm going to press it around because I want to get that kind of part that hangs over the edge. So just kind of shape it up however you want. This is where the not sticking to your hands part comes in. <laughs> I'm going to take a little bit of my ice cream mixture and I'm going to put it right here over this tissue paper because I don't I want to make sure that's not going to end up showing. Then I'm just going to release my ice cream scoop onto my ice cream cone so you can see there the mint chip that's showing through. Thank you guys so much. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next video.